Former President Jimmy Carter is 97 years young today. For several years now, the oldest living president in the U.S. history. CBS 46 special assignment reporter Sally Sears reminds us of his remarkable longevity. To Georgians, he is more than the oldest living president. He's Georgia's son in the world's highest office. Jimmy Carter, the boyish grinning man, <laughs> whose informal style helped him win the presidency after the corruption of Watergate. He signed his name in the White House in 1977, calling himself Jimmy, not James. We must adjust to changing times and still hold to unchanging principles. Carter's inauguration ended a formal presidential style in place since the day he was born in 1924. Calvin Coolidge was president then. Carter grew up, served in the Navy and Georgia's legislature under Presidents Roosevelt, Truman, Kennedy, Nixon. There you go again. He lost a bitter re-election to Ronald Reagan, but returned to Georgia to a new career, the Carter Center in Atlanta. Wage peace, fight disease, and build hope around the world in the future. At his birthday party seven years ago, he celebrated with birthday cake and admirers walking into the song, Oh Happy Day. A railroad bell ringing in plains summoned friends this July to an anniversary party marking 75 years married to Rosalind Carter. The former president is weaker now after winning a bout with cancer six years ago. He sits in a wheelchair, his southern accent slowed and hard to understand. Wonderful life. In but family and friends celebrated his legacy. I love you all very much. It's an incredible, incredible legacy for all of us. A legacy of an unbreakable spirit, a deep and abiding commitment to the ideals of our country, freedom fighting, truth telling, and uh, the spreading of democracy. His legacy celebrated by Republicans as well as Democrats around the country. Sally Sears, CBS 46 News.